Have you ever noticed that the slice shot of a left-hander is more efficient than the slice shot of a right-hander? Let's explain why. The Badminton World Federation reported that badminton is played worldwide by more than 300 million people. About 23% of them are left-handed players, and they experience a different situation from right-handers. This comes from the structure of the shuttlecock made of 16 feathers implemented in the left helix. The shuttlecock is invariant with rotation of a 180 degree, known as twofold symmetry, but it has no mirror symmetry. The shuttlecock is a chiral object as it cannot be superimposed on its image in a mirror. As the shuttlecock propagates in the air, the airflow is responsible for a drag force on the feathers, which are inducing a torque. The shuttlecock is then spinning counterclockwise as it propagates in the air. The trajectory of the feathers corresponds therefore to a counterclockwise helical trajectory. When two right-handers face each other, there is a global two-fold symmetry, allowing for similar counterclockwise spinning of the shuttlecock on each side of the court. And this is also true when two left-handers face each other. However, the situation is different when a right-hander is facing a left-hander. The situation where a left-hander is facing a right-hander corresponds to a mirror symmetry. However, this mirror symmetry does not exist because it would require a similar clockwise and counterclockwise spinning of the shuttlecock, which is not the case because it is naturally spinning counterclockwise as it propagates in the air. The chiral shuttlecock therefore makes the situation different for left and right-handers. Comparing the slice shots of left and right handers inducing different spinning allows for understanding the difference between left and right handers. For a right hander, the slice shot induces a very fast counterclockwise spinning, which is slowing down as the shuttlecock approaches the net. The slice shot of a left handed player induces a fast clockwise spinning. Then the shuttlecock is slowing down, goes out of spin, and starts spinning counterclockwise and approaching the net. By flipping the videos, we can clearly see that the shuttlecock is slowing down more efficiently on the slice shot of left-handed players due to the initial opposite spinning. For a right-handed player, the counterclockwise rotation decreases from 100 rotation per second down to 15 rotation per second and approaching the net. For a left-handed player, the clockwise rotation decreases before it goes out of spin and starts spinning counterclockwise and approaching the net. Look at this nice slice shot of a right-handed player. For the left-handed player, some kinetic energy is transferred into rotation energy, which reduces the speed of the shuttlecock. The clockwise to counterclockwise spinning induced by left-handed players generate intrinsically different trajectories of the shuttlecock, which are slower, but also steeper after the net. The right-hander is at a disadvantage because he has to move forward more to intercept the shuttlecock and give it more energy. But this is not the main problem he has to face.
Of course, the situation is opposite in the case of a reverse slice shot, and in this case, it is the right-hander who will slow down the shuttlecock more efficiently. But this situation is not totally compensated because of biomechanical considerations. We can also notice that the grips are wrapped in opposite direction for left and right handers, and they describe helixes which are imaged in a mirror. This allows for aligning the fingers on the diagonal of the grips. Rackets are therefore different for left and right handers. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you again for another video about the physics of badminton.